Oh my god. Wow. Sometimes friends of mine hook me up with rare insect material. Today is one of those days. These are eggs of a silk moth from Mexico that almost no one has reared before. I accepted the challenge. It's always fun to be one of the first people to raise a particular species. Experimentally I gave them oak tree and they accepted. Ha! Whoa, lucky me. Eventually the yellow swarm of hungry babies would need a bigger enclosure. Much better. Turns out that over time as I took care of the larvae they would gradually grow bigger. It became quite beautiful. This species seems easy to breed. Keep them slightly humid but not wet and ventilated. Placing oak tree and branches of water appears to work well for them. As they feed they become quite ornamental, with colorful tubercules that look like elaborate gemstones. And eventually the larvae even became mint green in color. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. I've never seen moth caterpillars in this strange bluish mint green color before. That's a first. I reared them on a combination of oak tree species. They seem to prefer evergreen oak tree. Eventually the moths plant cocoons. Cocoons have thin silk with holes in it. They are easily incubated on room temperature. I had my moths in just a couple of weeks. This species is Copaxa powerful hidalgensis, a recently described species. Not much is known about it at all. From the state of Hildago in Mexico where it reportedly flies on medium to higher altitudes. The food plant and life cycle in the wild seems to be unknown to science. This could make this breeding video one of the first and only documented instances of the life cycle of this insect being researched and documented. Turns out YouTube can be useful after all. The male is orange and the female golden yellow. Females can lay hundreds of eggs it seems. Oddly enough I never witnessed how many of the moths mated, but the eggs were all fertile. So I guess they quickly did it anyway, when I wasn't looking. That's how you breed the rare Hidago Emperor Moth. Thanks for watching and subscribe for super rare moths. I filmed many species and many videos are going online soon. You don't want to miss it.